Limited number. Thank you guys. Okay, so quadratics number 18. 18 out of 22. Uh, everybody say quadratics. quadratics. Does something come back into your mind? When you say quadratics, I hope some things, multiple things by this point, come into your mind. It's your 18th lesson, right? So at some point, your brain's got to go. I got, I've seen this before, right? I've seen something about this. Okay, so let me speed forward a little bit just because of time. Uh, I don't wanna go through everything again. But when we have a trinomial, we can factor this backwards through a division process, and then we can come up with the two binomials, right? Does this make sense? Jace, I'm trying to, are you ready? Yeah. Will you? Will you give me attention for the next 10, 20 minutes? So factoring is the reverse of a multiplication process. It's a division process, right? If you remember factoring, we kind of went through that method of what multiplied together to equal the tail right here, and then what added, did they add to equal the center uh, um, term, right? Believe it or not, and maybe we should have told you this up front, there's a formula for you to use to factor this. You don't have to go through it and do sort of the guess and check method. You can use a formula. Guess what it's called? Everybody say quadratic formula. quadratic formula, right? So there's actually three methods now. We've been through sort of the guess and check method where we just factored it using the X or the diamond or the different methods. Then we did a completing the square method, if you remember last lesson, and now we're gonna do quadratic formula. Three methods for factoring uh, trinomials or quadratics, right? In this case, quadratics. So um, here's the formula, you ready? Well, before we do that, Go through and tell me what is A, B, and C for. So here's the given. F of X equals X squared plus 6X minus 27. What is A in this case? What's B going to be? And what's C? Who knows one of them? Who wants to fill one of them in? A is um, 1. Good. B Very is good. 6. And C is negative 27. Good. Thank you, Natalia. Appreciate that. Fair enough? And A is actually the hardest one for students. Over the years, I've watched students struggle with A the, the most. One, one is the hardest because it's invisible, right? You don't get to see the one, but it's there. It's definitely there. Okay, plus six here and a minus 27 on this one, right? So now let's look at the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is X equals negative B plus or minus radical b squared minus 4 times a times c over 2 times a. Do you see all the a, b, and c's? Guess where they come from? Fair enough? So you literally can take a trinomial, a quadratic like this, and start to fill it in through the formula, and when we get to the end, we're going to get x equals. Guess what x equals stands for? What are we finding? When we find values for x, what will we be finding? Well, hang on to that, okay? And I didn't warm you up properly today, so in all fairness, and this is a heck of a weird day given it's testing day, all right? So just to give you a little break here. All right, so let's go through it. x equals, now there's a negative in the formula, so I'm gonna put a negative. Then I'm gonna put a parentheses, what is b? Good, everybody say six, okay? I'm putting in six here. There's a plus minus in the formula, which we'll show you how that plays out in a minute. There's a square root in the formula, or radical symbol. Now it's b squared. So what do we have? The six squared. Minus, there's a four times a times c. Whoops. Good. And there's a divided by two times a. So two times what? You okay with this? So far so good? Looks easy enough, right? Okay, let's start to now boil this down and solve this. 
All right? What is a negative six? We're just gonna rewrite that as negative six. But keep in mind, if this term had been negative, it would have been negative, negative, and reverse that. So be ready for that complication, all right? In this case, it's straightforward. It's just a negative six. There's still a plus minus in there and a square root. What's six squared? Okay. What's four times, now there's a negative in the formula and a negative back here. So the negative times negative becomes positive. Four times 20 is 80 and four times seven is 28. So is it okay if I say that's 108? This is all over two because two times one is two. All right, go again. X equals negative six now, plus minus. You've got a radical. What goes under the radical? What's 36 plus 108? Close, unless you said 144. Did you say 144? Okay, so 144 over two. See how simple it gets quickly? What's the square root of 144? You okay with that? Okay, now there's two results for x here. Here's the first one. x equals negative six plus 12 over two, and x equals negative six minus 12 over two. Nikki and Dennis, are you guys with us? Okay, shh, look up here, do this, concentrate. Stop your conversation for a bit. Okay, so what is, what's 12 minus six? Come on, somebody help me out. Go, go, go. 12 minus 6 over 2 equals? Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, negative 6 minus 12. Good, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Over 2 and? Thank you, thank you. So these literally are what x equals. So just to bring you back to what x what x stands for x are the x are the roots or the zeros or the x-intercepts does this make sense so when this parabola is being drawn there's a negative nine back here and there's a three right here and this thing's going something like that i don't know where these points are yet i don't know but i know it's something like that you okay with this so the quadratic formula is literally solving the factoring for you. Now, if it goes into the two binomials and you have an X in here and an X, right? These reverse again, make sure they reverse. So it becomes X minus three and X plus nine, right? Why? Because these had to be found through the zero property rule, right? That's why one of the names is zero for them. Okay, so um, they need to reverse. And you can always go back and FOIL this. X times X is X squared. That's good. 9X minus 3X is 6X. That's good. And negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. That's good. Fair enough. Do you see the, fo the FOIL that we've solved right away to get back to it? Okay. Um, okay, what's this whole thing called? Good. Good. The quadratic what? The quadratic formula. The, everybody say quadratic formula. And on some level, I totally apologize for, to, for giving you a lesson today, okay? Because I get it. You've been sitting in tests for two and a half hours, all right? So I'm sorry about that. I apologize. And thank you for your concentration and giving me feedback, all right? So that's it. Okay, stop that.